Oh, they fell down again. All right, I think. Best of luck. Okay. Couple things. I need to figure out where in the heck. Um, I'm sure I can get out there. I'm gonna go back to the beginning here. What I'm trying to do is find the secret. I'm trying to find the color-coded clues. All right. Let's see. I'll go ahead. All right. So it wasn't it's not in the front area there. We'll figure it out. There's got to be something somewhere that shows me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, there's nothing there. Okay. All right. So, check this room. Nothing in this room. So if I can find the clues to the color, well, being the, well, what's that? Scroll of Bears Endurance, Scroll of Prayer. That's cool. That's good. Tome of Minotaur Sermons from the Labyrinth. Okay. Don't know, I'm not gonna have time to read it right now. Lore religion. Let's get our lore on. Together we scan. Well, I guess no one's passing it. No one's got good religion, Always I guess. No, okay, that's fine. All right, so our clue is not in there. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so that didn't go well for us. Right. Came in here. There's got to be something somewhere that'll tell us. <laughs> well, hello. Yellow, blue, red, yellow. I think I found the clues. Okay. Now we can go back down here. And do yellow, blue, red, yellow, right? Oh my gosh. Hopefully, hopefully I got that right. Because <laughs> Lord knows, Lord knows I'm dumb enough not to. I'm dumb enough not to get it right. Because that's how dumb I am. I just really am that dumb. It's alright, you can call me dumb. I'm okay with that. All right, so we go yellow, blue, red, yellow. Gotta love it. Got it. See, the peers closely at the sword which seems utterly unexceptional to you. Wait, this, no, it can't be. Her eyes light up. I know that hilt, radiance, the sword of the great Yaniel. That's what it is, but 
It's meant to be in the Tower of Estrad, with all the other relics. That's what I heard, at least. Well, of course, this rusted piece of metal must be that very same sword. Camellia rolls her eyes. I think you merely wish that this were the illustrious sword of legend. Uh, that disappeared on me. Why'd that disappear on me? Alright. So, we've got an illustrious sword here, huh? You don't get it. I've seen this sword a hundred times in paintings and in the hands of the Yenyal statue. I even thought of going to the Estrad Museum to see the real thing in person. How did it get here? Um, what's so special about it? Sila frowns. Now, nothing, I guess, but the sword was legendary in its day. People say that when Yaniel held it, the blade would glow, striking demons left and right. Soldiers would see Radiance's light from afar and take heart. Rushing into the fray and winning. But I don't know what's wrong with it now or how to restore its power. All I can sense is that they made a mockery of it. You're emphasizing an object extraordinary. Are all paladins so tender hearted and sensitive? Sensitive in a way, yes. We're highly attuned to evil and everything wrought by demons. Radiance was in evil hands, and as a paladin, I can tell you they did nothing good to it. Um, who is Yeniel? No! You've never heard of Yeniel? She's famous all over Gal Galerion. She was a great woman. She was born in Mendev, and when the crusade started, she couldn't just sit idly by. She dedicated her life to the crusade. People say she was audacious and spirited. She was always the first into battle, and she never sacrificed other people's lives for a tactical advantage. Well, that's, that's kind of covering that up. I'm going to move this up here. That up there. There we go. And of course, it shuts everything down when I do that. Okay. That's how she. That's how she's been remembered, as an incredible warrior who seemed to blaze with righteous fury. In all the images of her, she looks capable of driving all the demons back to the abyss single-handedly. But then something happened between her and her commanders. Maybe they envied her. Maybe there was more to it than that. I don't know. But anyway, she went into the world wound without her fellow soldiers. And she didn't just survive the mission. She even brought back crusaders she rescued in there. Can you imagine? She died as she lived with pride. She's one of the people defending Dresden to the very end. That's where she perished. Don't take this wrong way, but I really hope she died quickly. A hero's death, because if she didn't, that means she was taken prisoner and had to endure unspeakable horrors. I wouldn't wish that on anyone. You know a lot about Danielle. Are you a fan of hers or something? I suppose you could say that. Sila chuckles. <laughs> I've always felt an infinity with Yaniel. I, I know that it's it's like to not be with your commanders wants you to be. Whenever I used to feel under pressure, I always thought of Yaniel. Maybe some people didn't like how she was, but to the people she pulled out of the world wound, she was perfect. And to the people she saved on the battlefield, she was incredible. And to those who keep her memory alive, she is a hero. That's 
what counts. Well, how could a priceless relic end up down here? Yanyel disappeared, but by some miracle, Radiance was recovered from the battle. No one else has ever wielded it. It was Yanyel's blade, and always will be. That's why it was put in the Tower of Estrad with the other crusade relics. But now it turns out that somebody stole it. Well, of course, they came down here. Well, let's keep going. Okay, so we figured out the riddle. Uh, it took us going back over everything after... After we defeated the bad guys at the end, cleared it out. Okay, we needed more of those. Scimitar. I am a loot hobo. Make no mistake. I hobo for the loot. Okay. Loot, 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 and loot. Alright, let's go here. We've got to figure out how to get out of here, so... I was told that the loot that we missed, we get once we leave. So, does that mean we're walking? Is that what that means? Price, and I enjoy surprising people. What is that? Okay, that just must mean they're walking somewhere. So, once we get back over here, we can then try to figure out where else, what's our next steps. Really? 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 So, we got down here, and we took out the mongrels, and the demon, and the wind dog. Well, that's a whole lot of nice stuff there. And me being the loot hobo that I am, So now I've got to figure out how to get out of here. Is that what they're telling me? There has to be something somewhere. Chad, if you know and want to give me a hint, I'm, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I want to he head up. How do I head up? Wait a minute. How come when I did that earlier, it wouldn't go through? Alright. Alright. Well, I'm taking that that is a dead end over there. So my only hope is to go down this way. So we're saying this is the way out. Collect all. Oh, that's nice. For a loot hobo, that's really nice. When you leave, you can get all the loot you left behind that you didn't find. Us loot hobos like that. We like that a lot. Yeah.